Well, when a bad guy runs from police, they sometimes ask us for help to get the word out. Remember that massive manhunt on New Year's Eve after a Phoenix police officer and an MCSO posse member were both shot? Well, officers on scene used reverse 911 calls, social media, and us to tell you to stay inside. Well, soon they might have another tool. CBS 5's Lindsay Reiser joins us live now. Capital to explain, Lindsay. Well, Stan, if a child is abducted in our state, an Amber Alert is issued, disseminating the description of the child and the alleged abductor. This blue alert would essentially do the same thing, but for suspected dangerous criminals accused of assaulting officers. You always remember those end of watch days. You always remember those anniversaries, those birthdays where they're, they're gone. Jan Blazer Upchurch lost her husband, DPS Sergeant John Blazer, in 1990 when he was killed by a drunk driver. It changed my life forever, and um, I really had to find a way to learn to heal. Now she helps others heal as the president of Concerns of Police Survivors. She's pushing for a blue alert in our state that would spread information to our TVs, our highways, even our cell phones. If they've been assaulted, if they've been killed, uh, then we can be uh, the eyes and the ears. Really, the community can be the eyes and the ears. And the idea is to get information out as quickly as possible. Uh, again, when an officer has been killed in the line of duty or injured, uh, seriously injured, and, and that suspect poses a threat to, to everyone else. Sergeant Jimmy Chavez is the president of the Arizona Highway Patrol Association. He says the blue alert would not be unique to Arizona. There have been 18 states that have created uh, blue alerts within their states. And would be little to no cost to taxpayers. This is a way for us to give back to our officers that are out there uh, putting their lives on the line. And this bill will be introduced uh, when the legislature goes back into session. Now we ask the Phoenix Police Department what they think, but they say that they have a policy. They don't comment on bills before they're voted on. We're live. Lindsay Reiser, CBS 5 News.